guys welcome to my channel hope all of you are doing good aws announced general availability of its uh, generative ai service which is amazon paydrop and that just yesterday amazon paydrop is a managed service for foundational model so in this tutorial you and me both are going to explore this service bit more what are the foundational models which are available how to request access or get access to this uh, base models can we fine tune this model ourselves and much more so please stay tuned watch till the end and i'm sure at end of this tutorial you will feel like trying this service on your own so without further delay let's get started and jump into management console okay so let's jump into management console and search for bedrock click on amazon bedrock and you will see this page and i'm going to explore this service along with you guys so nothing much is done in this account for this uh, service bedrock service so whatever you are going to see now it is same like what you will see in your own account so let's get started and this is generally available as of yesterday so uh, you should see this available in most of the region but for sure it's available in north virginia so i choose north virginia and then i'll uh, go into service like get started and this is how it should look like for you guys as well so in overview you can see there are foundation model and bedrock is a gi like a ai service for foundational models so fm as a managed service you can think about in that way right so these are multiple uh, different providers one is uh, ai21 then amazon anthropic cohere and stability ai right and uh, as i know like stability ai is the only provider which is providing text to image uh, conversion and we'll see that uh, bit into that so these are models available and there is an option you can do custom models as well but i warn you just don't uh, play with it because this is going to be a, a costly service unless you have really have some use case to use it but this is like uh, you can fine tune your model use the base model and on top of that you can fine tune it for your use case but definitely that is a costly uh, service to use uh, uh, if that is not like uh, uh, like satisfying your use case and you just want to play with the service then i just uh, like uh, caution you when you are using this so i am not going to touch this but there is an option where you can fine tune your model and uh, use base model to start with so you don't need to uh, start from scratch you have uh, fms which is already available on top of that you can train it for your use case so that is what it is so let's see first let me get started from overview we just saw this so these are uh, provider then there are playgrounds one is chat text and image so what is chat is easily experiment on a vast range of language processing task in a turn by turn interface you can try out various pre trained models so that is what chat is so i have, what i'm thinking is this will like uh, remember the history of what we are uh, uh, giving prompts for and that's how we can create a chatbot that's what i'm thinking when it comes to chat playground and then what is text is experiment experiment using fast interactions on a vast range of language processing tasks trying out various pre-trained models in a playground enter a text prompt to get started okay and then image like i think it will be a text to image so this should be uh, text to image playground and as i said there will be only stability ai available and i don't have any uh, model available as yet i think like we need to request it and we'll see how to do that but for now i'm just going to uh, review it with you then there are few examples we can like uh, use and just learn more about the service Th these are the base models what we talked about like service providers and these are uh, models which we can make use of i th i think like for any of this right we need to request access because i'm seeing everywhere it's saying no access to models and we can request uh, model access but for now i'll just then custom model we just saw like we can fine tune our models providers these are like uh, five providers in total and we saw that in overview as well and if you go into each of this right it gives provider overview and then what are the models provided by that uh, provider for example amazon provides amazon uh, titan fms and titan embeddings so these are different uh, 
models available for each of this provider so here in overview you saw what are the providers and here it is going into uh, deep into each of these providers giving more information about their models and uh, like same thing for stability ai cohere so we can just learn more about those providers so chat is a playground again like we can go into this playground from overview tab or even we can go into uh, playgrounds from this playground tab as well on the left side okay so these are chat text and image the provision throughput like this is uh, like you can uh, purchase it like one is pay as you go which is like uh, without uh, using provision throughput and i think like provision throughput is like allowing us to provision it so that we need to pay and commit for some usage so that's what i can see and here model access uh, i think we can act uh, like a request access here let me see if i just go here you can request access to this model billing will start after you are granted access and start using the model in the bedrock so similarly like if i uh, look into stability ai it is same thing you can request access to this model billing will start after you are granted access and start using the model so maybe what i'll do is i'll just for now right i'll just say edit and choose uh, say this and how to request access now the only entropic i'm seeing it's allowing us to request access from here but what about other uh, models so let me see what is this okay some ter terms and conditions i don't want to read that now and uh, okay let me just do one thing right uh, yeah so uh, at least we know like from model access we can request access for all this uh, models but uh, is it like i just need to choose this for example i'll just choose static diffusion right and then uh, save changes is it like same like requesting access let me see okay okay so access request is in progress so maybe it will take some time uh, it may take several minutes to get access to the model meanwhile you can use other bedrock console pages once your access is granted you can use the models in bedrock refresh the base models table to view the updated statuses okay so here uh, like we should be able to see whether its access is granted or still not granted to us but like uh, yeah this is like uh, good to know that for each model to be active in your account you need to request an access to that and once you request access access is granted and you start using this model then your uh, uh, like uh, billing will start so for now i don't see like just requesting access will start billing it but at least it's uh, good to know where we can request access right so these are uh, few things i just want to uh, explore the service with you and once i uh, play uh, with this service right i'll just create more videos we can uh, see other usage of it i also want to see like how we can use this models using api and that is what like if you look into the service or read about the service right the main advantage for the service is you can use a single api to access all of this model so uh, that i just need to see how that will work i'm hoping like it will give us a, a very uh, uh, descriptive api call and we should be able to use it in any of the um, ides and i want to test it out next once this model is available okay great like it's not that uh, slow i was uh, like expecting it will take a uh, few uh, hours or minutes but it is just a matter of couple of minutes then access is granted so good like we got access so let's go into image right and now you can see that earlier when we came to this place right it was not there but at least now it is giving us uh, access to this model and there are prompt strain generation save there are some levers we can tune but like i'm not going to go into that at the moment but i'll just say uh, what like uh, we can just uh, ask it to create some uh, prompt for us or sorry image for us so maybe we can just say that uh, okay create an image of say dog and cat playing together playing together okay let's see what 
comes out of, out of this i'll just say run okay great yeah it is giving us some image and i'm sure like we can tune it better we can just uh, do more stuff with this this is just an example i want to see but this is so easy right like you can just give and uh, like uh, those of you who played with uh, mid journey or other uh, uh, ai tools you may be aware about this but this is very easy in bedrock as well like you can just give prompt whatever you want you can be very creative with your prompt and that should give us uh, uh, like image and you can download the image you can view api request okay great so this is api request i was talking about right so it gives us uh, uh details how to use this in api and you can see model id content type accept body and in this body like whatever create create an image of dog and uh, cat playing that that should be here in under text and when we use it in the uh, code in our ide we should be able to use it as is as is and use this as a uh, variable sort of thing and then uh, like response will be this image that's what i'm hoping okay so we can copy it and then uh, use it in our programming okay that is good and even like if i go into chat so this will delete changes you haven't saved in the playground okay delete it i don't want to use that and then chat okay ai lab and i can see that this model is available for us okay so here here again we can give uh, some instructions and then it will give us a, a response based on the prompt and like uh, uh, this is same like chat gpt and all that right like many of you might have tried chat gpt free version i just want to give you a preview of this and uh, learn along with you guys so i'm finding it interesting and next what i'm planning to is use api request whatever we just saw, saw in uh, uh, image playground and see like uh, how we can use it in say uh, in python or some other language and see how this will work i think like that should be pretty simple to use it but maybe we'll reserve it for our next tutorial we learned something new today if so please like this video share leave your comment so that i know this content is helping you don't forget to subscribe and that's now okay see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about aws keep learning keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching